Yo guys, what's going on? Robert Warshak here, and we are going to be covering some High Lantern Hunter. This deck does very well against basically every deck on ladder right now, just because you can just curve stone out. Dragons are powerful, Highlander cards are powerful. Hunter's just in a really good position, so if you're interested in playing Hunter or a Highlander deck and you want something really, really good, this is this this is probably one of the best decks our most competitive decks we've posted in a while. Normally we don't play tier one decks, but because a lot of people have been asking about it, a lot of people have been playing it, I opted to play it myself, and holy shit, does this deck just rock people, all right? So we're going to cover the deck, each and every card in the deck. While it's in there from there, we're going to head into the games, and you guys are going to see how we decimate people. <laughs> so with that, the Dorvin Sharpshooter, one mana, one three, just a good card in general. You can hero power and kill opponent's minions with your hero power, meaning you're basically not spending any... Uh, cards to kill things which is how you outvalue in the early stages this deck can play a variety of different ways you can play a value game with this deck you can play an aggro deck with this deck you can play a tempo with this deck so it really depends what your opponent's class is and then that determines how you play the game so if your opponent's more of like a demon hunter you're going to play a little bit more defensive because they're more aggressive than us if you're playing against a priest we turn into the aggressor because you know their deck is very slow so it really just depends and this guy does a good job at doing that acidic swampus tons of classes play a lot of weapons right now and being able to pay two mana to get rid of that weapon is good pros of breath an insane card two mana deal three damage is just good and if you have a dragon in your hand which is really easy we get to do three to our opponent directly as well so it's two mana deal up to six damage uh, explosive trap a really good secret knight right now against the demon hunters and rogues because most of their minions have around two hp fairy dragon very hard for most decks to get rid of including rogue mage and warlock because they can't target this with hero powers or spells and it normally sticks around for two or three turns dealing upwards of six to nine damage flare this is a tech choice by me i kept playing against a lot of mages a lot of other hunters and a lot of rogues and they you know play secrets and they think they're fine so then you flare them and then they get scared and they're not fine so because people don't expect me to run flare of course we have to run flare but if you don't like flare you can play the fell mall instead i'm just the fell mall is good i like flare because it's a cool tech face stalker we run three secrets in the deck being able to get this guy out early and being able to get those secrets out of the deck onto the battlefield and thin our deck out is very very good plus our secrets are very very good looking at pressure plate which is literally one me quite a few games because people play mount seller they play a spell and then the pressure plate kills the mount seller so pressure and then also let's say they play their face stalker and then they coin out a secret and then this kills the opponent hunter's face stalker and that's insane too so a lot of people just literally don't play around pressure plate and that's what makes it so good is because no one plays around it so again guys when you throw in tech cards like this it's just your opponent, they, everybody plays the same decks, right? So when you add in a flare or a pressure plate, even though they may not be the most powerful cards right now, people don't play around them, so therefore you take advantage of that. Scavengers, being able to draw a beast to give a plus two, plus two is still very, very good. Granted, it's not the three plus three anymore. A lot of people had asked about that. Is it even worth playing? Of course it is. Drawing a card and giving it stats for two mana and a hunter deck, which normally can't draw is good. Snake Trap. Sneaky snakes are always good. Your opponent attacks a minion on your side, which is going to happen because you have a lot of minions and they want to kill them. And then you summon sneaky snakes and then those snakes attack your opponent's minions and or go face plus their beast. So they work with kill command. Zephyrus, how do you not play Zephyrus in a Highlander deck? Animal companion, always in a hunter deck, always huffer. Uh, Desert spear, very, very good with the faceless corruptor because you're able to basically attack with the desert spear you create a 1-1 one, one, and then you copy that 1-1 one, one into a 4-4 four, four. so that's normally the combo you use with desert spear because it's really good but either way it's still good because it summons minions those minions are beasts works with kill command works with all its stuff uh, but normally with the faceless it's even more powerful uh griffin good at drawing your zixor prime or your faceless corruptor to combo with your desert spear and remember, if you have your uh, Zixor die and the big prime is in your deck, the Griffin can also pull that. So even though you're like, Rob, there's not enough rush minions in the deck, just oh, you almost always have a rush minion to pull because of Zixor dying and it shuffles another one into your deck. Kill command, good burst, kills minions, go face, just a good card. Explore, really good card, has poisonous, okay statted, I suppose, and it generates a dragon. A lot of times the dragon you generate is going to be the hunter dragon like Varanus or Anixia or Alexstrasza. So, I mean, most of the time this card's pretty insane, plus Poisonous makes it annoying, plus it's a dragon, so it synergizes with cards like Stormhammer, which is a very good weapon, probably one of the best in the game. It doesn't lose dur durability if you control a dragon. We have lots of dragons in the deck, so most of the time when this comes out, it sticks out for quite some time unless it's been destroyed by our opponents like Harrison or Acidic Swampus. Unleash, good card. Your opponent goes wide on board, looking at Demon Hunter, Rogue, 
any sort of aggro deck you unleash, you kill it down or you go face. Very nice. Zixor, one of the most powerful cards in the deck. When you draw this card through your scavengers or your uh, griffin, you're able to basically kill something when it comes out because a three mana two four stat wise with rush is very good. And then it shuffles the prime into the deck, which is an eight mana four four seven three copies of this insane card. Most of the time you're going to field clear and if it sticks on the board, you just win. Dragon Bane, again, one of those cards where if it sticks on the board longer than a turn or two, you just win because after you use your hero power, you deal five damage to a random enemy. One of my most favorite combos is you have Dragon Bane out, you've got the Phase Stalker out, you hero power, you get a secret, and you're doing five damage. It feels good, and it, it, it just wins. <laughs> Escape Mana Saber, it's a beast. It's a four mana, three, five with stealth, meaning that it can't be here or targeted uh, with anything until you attack with it, which means most of the time this can hit your opponent in the face or kill a minion that they didn't want you to kill because it can't target this guy. Evasive Fey Wing, a very annoying dragon for your opponent to deal with. The same reason Fairy Dragon's good is the same reason basically this is good. A Faceless Corruptor, we went over that. Sticky Fingers. No one expects Sticky Fingers in the Hunter deck because we already play Acidic Swampoos, so that's why we gotta play Sticky Fingers, is because no one plays around it. So our opponent plays a nice juicy weapon from either Galakron or the Demon Hunter weapon, or the bomb after they play the Corsair, and then you get the bomb because you Sticky Fingers that shit, you take that weapon, you start beating them down with it. So, because everybody doesn't expect it, because everybody's playing weapons, we gotta play Sticky Fingers. Uh, Rottenest Drake, one of the best dragons. If you control a dragon, you basically get to kill a random enemy minion. It's a deadly shot inside a 6-5 inside a dragon. Varanus, being able to change the health of all enemy minions to one is very good because there's really no single target removal in this deck. If you, if you noticed, everything's like just a really good minion or a really good spell. So being able to, if your opponent ends up making like a big Edwin or a big whatever, you just, you know, change its health to one and then hit it with like, your desert spear or the locust that comes off of that and it feels good dino tamer bran being able to play a seven mana king crush alongside a two four body is crazy <laughs> like if you just curve out with this deck and bran is your top end at seven you just hit him in the face you kind of just win like every card in this deck is so good sam it again another really good card Depending on what's out, if there's a 6 HP minion out, you go Rush Divine Shield. If there's nothing out, you go Divine Shield Wind Fury. If they don't kill it, you win. <laughs> uh, and then Dragon Queen Alexstrasza, same reason we run Zephyrus, same reason we run Dragon Queen. If you're playing a Highlander deck, you have to play this. And of course, because no one expects you to play King Crush, <laughs> we absolutely have to play King Crush because no one expects to King Crush because you already played Dino Tamer Brand, so like, all right. That's his King Crush. We've already seen it. And then you throw in another one and people lose their fucking minds. So this guy has actually won me like 20% of the games that I played with this deck. Just because being able to hit your opponent in the face for eight damage out of nowhere is really, really good. After you've already hit them in the face for eight. So you get to do 16 damage off big dino dog hitting your opponent in the forehead. So good stuff. King Crush. I like it. You know, again, it's you don't have to play King Crush. It's just it worked out pretty nice for me. And if you enjoyed the deck, it treats you well. Throw a like, throw a comment in the section below. Let me know how well you did with it. And with that, let's head to the games and enjoy. Dude, I am fucking dying. My body is dying. We are dying. It's too hot. We are too sore. Everything about today is death. I like keeping Griffin if he's zoo. Wow. The one, two, three curve. The hunter exclusive curve. That's how you know we're a good hunter. Water and stretching and hearthstone. That's it right there. That's the algorithm. That's the algo, boys. I'm actually wearing the tank top Alex got me, our mod. For Christmas, either last, I think Christmas last year or my birthday, she sent me this tank top. The My Hero Academia tank top. Pretty exciting. I know we can dark skies, boys, but it is what it is. What do you know? Dark skies. Yikes, these suck ass. Um... I mean, for curve purposes, I guess it's Fairy Dragon. If I, I wish I would've gotten maybe another Explorer, Twin Tyrant, Big Ol' Whelp. All those would've been okay. <laughs> I 
I actually saw my sister today, too. I haven't seen her in a while. What up, Luke? Bruh, I just listened to the song. <laughs> no way, dude. You think I weave in hero power or play more minions? Let's just play more minions. This is kind of weak to nether wing. So I guess maybe I should have hero powered. Pop decks nether wing. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. <laughs> Sucks that the Quest Warlock is becoming. Why does it suck? It's good that Quest Warlock is tier two. It's a variety. Don't we like variety? Because you dusted it? I guess so. I mean, it's. I mean, if you don't play a lot of Warlock, I mean, it's a pretty expensive deck. It's not like it's a cheap deck. So if I play Dino Tamer, what does he play? Twisting right Nether or some crazy shit like that? Probably. Do I go Mana Saber and then Hero Power? I mean, I like... Ugh. So I want to go this guy in Hero Power. And I also could go this guy... I guess he could play a Taunt next turn. I should probably just cash this in. So then if he like kills this and then plays a taunt, I go like escape mana saver, kill command hero power for lethal. Oh, he's gonna heal for eight. Motherfucker. God, that combo is insane. Heal for 16. <laughs> Alright, we lose. How do you beat that? So I guess the play was to Mana Saber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the play... So the play was definitely to uh, Mana Saber there, because then you would have had to use it on the face, which it only works against minions. Okay. So this... So it was this guy, Hero Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was this guy, hero power, into King Crush, hero power, and then he wouldn't have been able to use this. He would have had to target his own minions or face, and it wouldn't have done as much. Why wouldn't you plot twist first and then tap? Because now that the card goes back, he doesn't get the effect of it costing zero mana. But I guess if it's like a mortal coil, it doesn't really matter, right? So much healing. I mean, he already used Nether Breath, so. Twisting. What up, Red? New profile pick? Are you talking about the new logo? Isn't a 2-4 really good for 2 mana? Yeah. Yes, it is. 
But it also takes double damage from spells, so because it has more health, it's easier to kill with, like, spells. It's harder to kill with minions, though. But it's definitely easier to kill with spells. New logo pick, Poggers. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we updated it, what, about three weeks ago? Three weeks to a month ago? Pretty good. He actually could give me lethal here with Unleash if I draw a Zephyrus. Yeah, if I draw Zephyrus here, I'll have lethal. Oh my god. Oh my god! Holy shit! How does it not give me Savage Roar? Oh my god! <laughs> uh, draw Highlander cards, win games, boys. Holy shit, that was a pretty epic first game. Good song. Good recommendation, man. Fuck secrets, dude. Stop giving me the secrets. Dude, I only run three secrets. Stop giving them to me. Fuck off. Quest priest. Fuck off. Jeez. Ah, I don't really feel like playing Hearthstone anymore. We're getting some fucking shit ass rolls right now. I mean, Hi Hunter's good against the quest. I Hunter's good against Priest, but Quest Priest is still super obnoxious. I might just switch to Halo soon. I don't really feel like playing. The heat also doesn't help. I'm actually going to see how hot it is right now. Yep. It's 80. 80 degrees in the house. <laughs> you just gotta keep throwing up on board, right? Play this, hero power, just pump it. That temp sounds horrendous. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Plus it's human because it's Florida. Gross. Top kick. That's also a good top kick from us. Um, ma, 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 ma. so I play this every time, right? To see what we get. Hmm. Vernarnar is pretty good. So best cards we get are like Brand, Zephyrus, stuff like that. Coin Pentence. Pentence is 2 3. Oh, Radiance. Okay. Created by the Renu. Good draw. This quest gets completed this turn. He literally can just hero power, hero power. When my AC went out back when I was in Texas, I bought a standing AC unit that vented out the window. Worked pretty well. I don't have enough space in here to do that, unfortunately. Like, I have nowhere to put it. Like, there's just no room. That's how tight this room is right now. But it should be fine. Once the windows get fixed and we have the AC guy come out and charge or the AC, it should be, should be fine. 
Zephyrus. Apex Predator. This is so rough. Hunter's really not doing it today, and the druid was having difficulties too, but we'll play another hunter after this and uh, see if it works out. So ideally, if he trades, which is terrible, I guess it's not terrible, uh, resurrect the 3-1. Get lucky sometimes? No. Brand is nice. Uh, Brand's very nice. Is Brand... Brand game? So, how much damage is this? He heals for 6, he goes to 21, trade, trade, 8, 7, 15, 19, I think I have 19, right? Because he goes to 21, and then I go 8, 7, 15, I have 19. So we're 2 off. Yeah, we're 2 off. Yo, Mech, what's up, dude? Appreciate the follow. When you want the 3-1 in his pool? Yeah, yeah, I'm saying, like, him trading is bad. Like, he should have, like, not traded, which guarantees him a taunt minion or a heal minion, you know what I mean? Like, eh, I don't know. It really just depends there. I can't leave Morte alive, either. Why not Morte trade into 3-1? Uh, the Shadow card. I trade this when I know it can die. Now I'm running into an option where I don't have that luxury. Like, last turn, I had the luxury of not needing this guy to, like, you know what I mean? But, in this situation, now it can get Shadow Madness. But last turn, I could have, like, I didn't need to play this to do some damage. Your wish is my suggestion. I just have to go face with everything, right? I don't have a choice. Do you think Res Priest is viable now? Res Priest was never not viable. You're just a degenerate for playing it. Like, it's it's one of the most toxic, fucking boring decks to play against. Literally fucking can't do. It's also very slow. So, like, not only are you playing, like, what deck people hate like literally the most like you're playing 20 minute games every game because there's no clear win condition to the deck it's just your opponent ends up either conceding or you just outvalue them in fatigue that's that's the win condition i don't think there's a win from this position right even if i draw zixor it's not close I mean, there's Dragon Queen Alexstrasza who can, like, rip a Ysera. There's, like, a small amount of hope. Mage's win condition, they actually have cards. Power of Creation, Deep Freeze, Zephyrus, Alexstrasza. There's cards in the deck that do a lot of things. Priest's win condition, there's no big influx cards. Like, I guess Mass Res. Mass Res can be a win condition. Or, like, Morte. But... Most of the time, you're summoning minions with, like, two, three attack. You know what I mean? They just have a lot of health. And or heal. Hero power is a win condition? Yeah, but it's super slow. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a win condition, but it's a win condition after 10 minutes. And it's also a win condition that relies on you, like, having minions. It's not just, like, your hero power and then you win, right? Like, you have to hero power minions and it's a very slow, grindy hero power. Of the 
I can still out top deck Alex. Kind of. That's our last hope. Is this the Alex? Or maybe Zixor, but I bet this guy runs Plague anyway. So even if we do get on board, I think it's going to be really rough. There's Zixor. But I have a feeling we're going to see the uh, Plague here. He seems like a greedy, greedy, greedy player. <sighs> I just have to play it out. I don't have a choice. Yeah, you need to Dragon Queen into Yasera or two Yaseras. It's gonna, it's gonna, it, it's gonna take some, uh, some, some RNG here, for sure. But there is a, there is a small chance here. There is a small chance here. And there it is. All right. Depending on what she gives me. Alright, maybe he doesn't run two plagues. That also could have given me a uh, Ysera as well. How many dragons are left in the deck? There's one dragon left. So this could give me three mage spells. I could go with Tome. Tome could give me Yog Box. Yog Box could play into Grand Slam. <laughs> I'm just counting the outs here, boys. Just trying to count some outs. Reaching? Uh, not really. This guy's got some uh, some power here. He's gonna heal for seven now per turn. There it is, Varanus. Okay. There's Tome. There's Frostbolt though. That's thir How much damage is this? Thirteen. Thirteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. We have twenty. Or I can Frostbolt this and go face with it all, or do I just go with the Tome? This is actually very, very hard. 13, 17, 18, 19. I think I go with the Tome, right? Ox. Evocation. That's a card. Okay, we've somehow managed to f assemble a, a game plan here. I mean, he's uh, fuck. I mean, this is just fucking nuts at this point. I mean, this is just nuts. Evocation gets us polymorph, which is lethal. Yeah, we could hit the morph, dude. The other option, the safer play, is the Varanus trade, trade, face. But then he heals. I should probably go for the evocation play. For, yeah. Evocation play. Alright, we're going for the evocation play. That's, that's the move. Sheep. Did not see a sheep. This could give us a sheep. Very sheepable. Kill command. Kill command, frost bolt. That's five. Oh my fucking god. Oh! Ooh, that's what we needed. That's what we needed to turn it around. I feel I feel good. I feel good, chat. I feel good, chat. Y'all, I was counting up some random fucking shit. I'm like, we got a fucking Dragon Queen into fucking Ysera with the Malagos into Tome into randomly generated fucking evocation into fucking Dragon's Breath into Kill Command. Like 
Your boy was wheeling and dealing.